and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today monday the 6th of march 2023 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today we hope you had a great weekend and let's look at the news right now of course we had a very positive session in the us on friday all of the major indices up in excess of one percent which saw the s p 500 essentially recover for the week to finish positively after the earlier week losses it moved back technically over the critical 4,000 level, which is important. As is often the case on Monday, however, we are seeing US futures mildly lower in early Asian trading. Asian indices are following that US lead and are generally higher. The ASX is up around 0.65% with all sectors in the green. European equity futures are pointing to a positive open and the VIX is still trading around about that key 20 level. The US dollar index is in a short term range just above the 200 EMA despite Friday's losses on the USD. Gold moved back up as a consequence to 18.50 which was its high for a few weeks. It is slightly lower in Asia today but nevertheless technically in the short term looks relatively strong. Copper did pull back on Friday and is still slightly negative in Asia and all was up slightly but looks triangular from a technical point of view suggesting market uncertainty about where to take oil next. Bitcoin dropped 5% on Friday through the 200 EMA. 22,000 looks like an important level technically for the asset. On the data front, we're still seeing earnings season continuing on the ASX. It's all but finished in the US at this stage. We've got Eurozone retail sales and US factory orders, the major data releases today. Much more, of course, happening later in the week, which we will report on as we go. A couple of charts that caught our eyes today of interest. On the ASX, Brambles, who reported earnings on this candle here, continues its move higher. And today's price action uh, shows further buy-in pressure is in place. If we just put this into context, take it back to the weekly chart, you can see how important this breach is. Over $13. So we're sitting at $13.14 at this stage. We've got a short-term price target of $14 on this. But there is obviously... In light of the company's continued good performance, plenty of upside going forward. On the FX front, we're seeing a little bit of yen strength this morning. You can see here in the US yen on the four hour chart, this 135.77 looks important. Here's today's candle so far, which is pushing it down towards this level to retest after a slight gap up from Friday's close. If we put this on the short term chart, you can see the action in a little more detail. In the short term, there could be a move down of around about 45, 46 pips if we do breach 135.77. So that's a level to keep an eye on over the course of the coming hours for a potential short term trade. Long term, that level is important also. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.